Hi, this is Jake Bautista and we'd like to welcome you to a brand new Metro Guide Realty House Tour. Today we are presenting a striking modern 5-bedroom house and lot for sale located here in BF Homes, Paranaque City. So this is a well-built home which is also very family friendly and has fast access towards Sukat Road and Skyway. Now let's go! Through the pedestrian gate, you have a tiled area here showing the elevated ground level leading to the side of the house towards a landscaped area. And then on your right, you have a carport area for three vehicles. So this house just finished construction. That's why we still have some construction materials here around the area. We're undergoing some final finishing, but this house will be completely clean and polished in a few days. So you have a partially covered parking area here, one carport area here, and then two cars on this side, extending towards the service area, which we will explore in a while, okay? Let's head on here. So let's walk on this side so that you can see this side of the house. So you see that this is excellent, especially if you have pets who like to run around. You have pavers here leading to the back of the house. And let's head back here. There are a lot of things that you can do here. You can potentially make this a nice area just to receive guests or even for deliveries. You can have like a couple of benches on this side. Okay. And of course, you have your main door here. Now, welcome to your beautiful home. One of the main features of the living area is this high ceiling that immediately welcomes you upon entering the home. You have this large window stretching all the way to the second level, giving you all that natural light. And what's great is the morning sun is on the other side of the house and the afternoon sun is at an angle. So you don't have sunlight streaming into here and making it too hot in the afternoon okay so it's just right but at the same time it's so well lit okay this is a nice foyer space upon entering this is a nice touch just having this wooden design right here so you can have a table here an artwork or a large mirror and then a large open plan space for your living and dining area and this is quite spacious if you take a look and you stay right there you see that this entire area is the allotted space for the living air uh, living uh, living room furniture so you can have a large set here and even a second set on this side underneath the high ceiling area which is also, by the way, excellent for having a large light fixture. But of course, that's up to you, depending on your interior design preference. Okay? And just to check out the flooring, you have very elegant tiles also, which are large format and are a nice contrast with the white walls and the wooden design of the doors. Okay? You have cove lighting here as well. And then, this is your open dining space. And that's marked by the cove lighting here. Another thing that, like, that I'd like to point out about this house is there's already air conditioning 
unit provision. That's why you have this here. The wiring is already ready. So that's excellent for split type air conditioning units. Okay. And this is also a nice provision for a floor mounted unit as well. And then you have these two large sliding doors here, giving you access towards the garden area at the side. So that gives you plenty of ventilation. And then you can open this up also. And you have a maximized lanai space. And what I love about the positioning of this area is right now, we're making this video in the afternoon and it's so cool already. It's such a nice, private, quiet space. I like the high wall here. The community is very secure, but of course you want as much privacy as possible. This is another additional area. Right now it's landscape, but you could make this a great barbecue pit space. Okay, and then here's another angle. See, so you can see all the way to the front of the house. And just another touch, you have an outlet here. So if you want to use this as an area for working, you want to have a table, make this an outdoor working space, or you could set up like a speaker system here. That's another idea. Now, check out this view and how large and spacious your dining and living room space is. Now, when I took a look at this house, I initially thought that it would be a living, dining, and then kitchen space because of how big it is. But then, I was so pleasantly surprised that turning to this side, you have another spacious area for your open kitchen. So this is large enough to have an island countertop if you'd like. But right now, it's set up like this with a very open feel, an area here for your refrigerator, lots of storage space all around. This is where you can have your oven and then your range hood right here. And then here's another perspective. So you see the size. Okay. And you also have a great view of your dining space as well. And then when you open up this door, you're led towards the service area at the side of the house. So you have a, an area here. This is the laundry space. That's why you have these outlets here. You can have your washing machine right here. Potentially have this covered in the future. And then you have a heavy wash basin right here. Okay. And then this is your staff quarters with its own bathroom. And then you have a second staff quarters room right here. Once again, with its own bathroom. So I'm just opening it up so that you can see. Let's head back in. Up to now, I can't get over how open this entire area feels. And one thing that contributed to that in terms of the design is by having the staircase tucked away right here at the side. The main focus was really having as much space possible for your furniture and to have that open feel. And on this side, what you have is your first bedroom. So it's a corner room and you're facing your parking area here, but you have lots of ventilation. Once again, the provision for aircon. And this is spacious enough to be a full bedroom or a home office, playroom, multi-purpose room, even just a TV room. And then this door leads towards a full bath space. And it has such an elegant design Tempered glass enclosure, nice indirect lighting right here. 
and then it doubles as your powder room. Now let's head on up towards the second floor where you have four more bedrooms. Let's go. So natural wood flooring here for the staircase, for the steps, and for the handles. Thick tempered glass here. Wooden design laminate flooring. And now let's go through each of the bedrooms. Let's begin with the second bedroom right here. So what I like is this bedroom is so spacious. I almost mistook this as the primary bedroom because of the size. I love the room shape also. It's a regular shape, very easy to arrange furniture. And there's a dedicated space here with custom cabinetry. And such a large space, you can have a massive TV here. And then even a king or queen sized bed. And it has a Jack and Jill bathroom, meaning a shared bathroom with the third bedroom. Let's go. Cool. So the bathroom will still go general cleaning within the next few days, but basically it's completely finished already. Very nice dual vanity sink space. This is excellent, especially if you have siblings in the family. Uh, so they can share a bathroom here also. And then let's go through the other door already towards the next one. So this is a smaller room than the last room, but in terms of how you can maximize this, here's an idea. If you're purchasing this home and you have a son or a daughter who just got married and or who's already married and you have one or two grandchildren. This is a great in-law wing. That means you can have your son and daughter and his wife or husband in one room and then your grandchild will be here and they have one nice shared bathroom also. Okay, That's just an idea. Of course, there are different living situations and combinations depending on the profile and the background of your family. Uh, and then the mix of people who are here that you're looking to move into this home, but you know uh, That's just an idea. I also want to point out the ceiling height as well This is quite significant and also not lots of natural light from the window Let's already head out here. We've taken a look now at three rooms one downstairs and then the second and third bedroom here, the second floor, with a shared bathroom. And right here, you have your fourth bedroom. So what's different about this bedroom is this is the solo bedroom with its own bathroom, ensuite bathroom. So this is not a shared bathroom. But once again, it has custom cabinetry. The color combination is so spot on from the flooring to the baseboard to even the door frames and the color of the cabinetry. And then here you have the ensuite bathroom. Floor to ceiling tiling. And then on your right, a very elegant hotel like feel for your sink space. And of course, we're saving the primary bedroom right here. So what you immediately notice is the size of the room. It's almost like a very close to a square shape, but at the same time, there's so much room in terms of how you can organize your furniture. You can have your bed on this side and then plenty of space left over for
for even a small sofa on the other side and even additional storage and then you have this cabinetry here where you can have even an 80 to 100 inch TV okay. and of course to maximize the space you have a balcony for your primary bedroom this is a significant size for a balcony you can have a couple of chairs here and of course morning sun is on the other side but once it's sunset this is a nice place to just cool down in the evenings tempered glass barriers here very sturdily placed but of course not interfering with the facade and of course you can appreciate your wooden design cladding at the front of the house And of course, since it's the primary bedroom, you have a spacious walk-in closet area and bathroom. There's even an additional space here. An idea would be a small bench that could also double as storage. And then you have a dual vanity sink space. And of course, this doubles as storage as well. So the mechanism is very smooth and it feels very sturdy also. And of course, you have your tempered glass shower enclosure here for your shower area and your water closet space. And I like that the primary bedroom has a very elegant feel and a fantastic combination of colors. And check out that indirect lighting at the top of the mirror. Okay. From the master bedroom, you have a great view here from the hallway of your living room area. And this also allows ventilation to flow from the ground floor up to here to the second level. And that caps off our quick house tour. If you want to know more about this property or visit it in person, just click the description below where you can get in touch with us through our email and number shown there. You can also send us a message and follow us through Instagram, Facebook, and now also on TikTok. And if you have a property you'd like to feature through our channel, you can send us an email at metroguiderealty at gmail.com. Once again, my name is Jake Bautista. Thank you for watching. And we look forward to bringing you clarity, quality, and convenience in finding a great Metro Manila home for you and your family. Contact us today in the email and number shown here to schedule a property viewing. You can also click the description below for the property details. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so that you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and we look forward to bringing you and your family a great Metro Manila home.